I always utilize extended ACLs when possible. They offer more flexibility as they can match more portions of the packet header, which means greater granularity. Extended ACLs configure similarly to standard ACLs, at least at first. Their number ranges are from 100 to 199 and 2000 to 2699. The command structure begins access list number permitter deny, then it changes. After this, a protocol is specified like TCP, UDP, ICMP, or IP. Next is source address and wildcard mask, then destination and wildcard mask. An extended ACL entry that will allow any ICMP would be config t access list 101 permit ICMP any any. Here I specified the ACL command, then the number permit to allow ICMP as the protocol type, then any source and any destination. If I also wanted to deny any UDP, it would be access list. 101, deny UDP any to any. I can be more specific with addressing like access list 101, deny UDP host 192.168.1.1 to network 10.0.0.0.0.0.255. This will filter 192.168.1.1 from getting to anything Ten dot on UDP. Keep in mind that all parts of a line must be matched for the packet to be filtered on that individual line. Now for the fun stuff. Extended ACLs allow for matching of ports in TCP and UDP packets. It has a logic for equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, or a range of ports. The ACL starts very similarly again. Access list, number, permit, now I choose TCP or UDP, then the source addressing is specified. After that, it depends on if I need to match on source ports, destination ports, or both. Examples tend to make things a bit simpler. I'll create an entry that will match and drop TCP traffic sourced from port 80. Access list 105 deny TCP anyone equal to port 8000 going to anyone. Now I'll match anything destined to UDP port over 3000 and drop it. Access list 105, deny UDP anything to anywhere destined to port greater than 3000. Now I'll block a specific host going to a subnet source from TCP port 90 to TCP port 8585. Access list 105, Deny TCP host 100.64.0.2 equal to port, source port that is, 90. Going to destination network 192.168.0.0.0.0.255 equal to destination port 8585. It's also an option to use not only decimals for port numbers, but also keywords can be used for well-known ports like SSH or www. Extended ACLs are used constantly because they have so much power being able to not only choose source and destination networks, but also the individual port or protocol. 